And then even then, and I love thinking, I'm obsessed with the client journey because if you think about it, it really never ends. Like even if, if you have a, uh, a client here, it can continue. But everything leading up to this, so even when someone, let's say, books a call and you've done a series of steps, you've sent them some videos, like what else can you do at that point to build more goodwill, faith? Uh, could you send them something ahead of time? Um, I'm, I'm all about relationships and I'm like, not, I'm like, I don't care if this takes two years. Like, I don't care if this takes two years. I'm going to keep showing up and serving you in any way I can until the time and resources and everything is right for you to do what's best for you. Even when you do get a client, how can you find just little ways to keep building that relationship? And I, I really don't think there, you could be pretty blunt about this is like, we're doing this to build our business. Yes. But I think it doesn't have to be either, or we're also doing this because we care about our people. So yes, you may be trying to build a stronger relationship because there's a higher opportunity for referrals. But if you love what you do, it, I don't think they're opposites. You're doing both at the exact same time. So you're trying to make a beautiful experience for your clients. Yes. You're giving value on YouTube, but it, it's plain as day that you're creating content in order to build relationships to get potential clients. Like there's no, you don't need to beat around the bush for that. And people know that as well. So the, the, the journey, if you will ever want to map out, like you could have a nice line. Here's like someone who doesn't know you. Here's a client. And here's like, you know, upserves or triple clients or referrals, or now you're, you know, whatever your clients are like in town and they're asking to meet up because they just, they just love the connection relationships you've built, which is a great sign that you're doing a good job. And then what are all the little things you can start plugging in and never stop looking at it. Even when your business is built, like how could I create the experience a little stronger here? How could I automate a really awesome thank you video? We were doing for a while. We were sending things over the mail to clients. The, it was way too complicated, but it's something you want to start bringing back. It's like in three months or six months, what could you send out in the mail? Um, like there's so many things you can do. This thing never ends. Does that, does that help answer the client journey? Because then you can kind of, if, if we learn how to fish, we can fish ourselves, but now you can just look at the client journey and be like, what's missing. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to speak and get clients, but like, what's missing? Like, what could the first step be when a client comes across my X, Y, Z, what's the first step? What's the first thing I offer? What's the thing that would attract them the most? That's where we start talking about lead magnets or a Facebook group, um, a PDF, which is kind of digital marketing stuff, but it doesn't have to be. Can it be like a voice note? Because someone joined your group and you so you send a voice note. Or is that too heavy for the people you talk to? Is that a little bit too much and that would scare them? Great, let's not do that. Let's ask and request, hey, if you have one question, feel free to...